Our next story is about a growing terror threat. The Islamic State is attempting a revival and on its target is Southeast Asia. The group has infiltrated into ASEAN nations. The focus is on two countries, Indonesia and the Philippines. We'll focus on Indonesia first. It will elect a new president next year. In the run-up to the polls, Indonesia's security challenges are rising. A new report says ISIS supporters have tied up with former terror convicts. They're trying to form a group, and they plan to launch attacks around election time. The targets, too, have been identified. They're looking at polling stations, the police, and non-Muslims. And why are these the targets, specifically? Because this group views them as enemies of ISIS. The report has not identified specific members involved in the terror plot, but it says one existing group poses a clear security challenge. It is called the Jema Anshaut Dola, also known as JAD. And this group was formed in 2015. It was an umbrella organization for almost two dozen extremist groups. These groups had pledged their allegiance to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. He was the leader of the ISIS. But more than four years ago, the ISIS collapsed. In 2019, al-Baghdadi was declared dead by the U.S. But the JAD is very much alive. Reports say its former and current members are active and they're believed to be plotting their next move. Also, the JAD is not the only one. Indonesia has at least one more ISIS affiliate. It is called the Mujahideen Indonesia Timur, or MIT. These groups, alongside other smaller affiliates, have conducted multiple attacks in the past. From 2016 to 2021, pro-ISIS groups carried out 13 attacks in Indonesia. They killed 68 people and injured more than 100. Now, these affiliates are getting active again, and this should not be surprising. The ISIS suffered a military defeat in 2018, its so-called caliphate collapsed, but the group's widespread ideology was not erased. It has resurfaced. Smaller ISIS affiliates have sprung up, and they're much more radical in nature. One of the most prominent affiliates is the ISIS-K, the Islamic State Khorasan, the main challenger to the Taliban regime in Kabul. In 2021, it carried out the Kabul airport attack, a deadly suicide bombing that killed more than 180 people. The group benefited from the chaos created by America's hasty exit from Afghanistan. The Taliban have been unable to contain ISIS-K. It continues to target Taliban members. And now ASEAN countries face the risk of becoming the next hotspot. We've told you about Indonesia. The Philippines, too, faces this challenge. As recently as 2021, ISIS affiliates were active in this country. The main player is a group called ISIS East Asia. It was said to be recruiting and raising funds. And the Internet plays a major role in all of this. ISIS members are active on leading platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Telegram and Instagram. And going by one claim, 90% of the ISIS recruitment happens via social media. Long story short, the ISIS is alive and active, and it now poses a bigger threat. Earlier, the war against the ISIS was limited to Syria and Iraq. Now its ideology has gone transnational. ISIS affiliates have spread from Africa to South Asia and now Southeast Asia. The danger is clear and present. It needs a united response from the global community.